This is Lisa from Casa de Greenly Art. I am back with my last Texas project. I decided on this one to do a magnetic Texas, like I did that little practice piece of the United States. So I covered it in the Magnetize It paint. I just did, I, I taped off the sides and just did the very top three coats. Um, one of the reasons was it, it gets really goopy and I wanted to make sure that I kept all of the little edges clean. So I taped off all of the sides, did my three coats, and then I um, taped the back like I normally do when I do my paint pouring so that the paint goes down the sides. Make sure this is in the shot completely. Um, what I'm gonna be doing today, and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed on this one, I'm gonna be doing a gold base with Pebeo Studio Acrylics Iridescent um, Gold. I'm going to be using Titanium White by Amsterdam. Permanent Red by Soho Acrylics. Grenache by This Little Piggy Pigments. Phthalo Blue by Liquitex. And Metallic Blue Light Art by Artist Loft. So my big problem or issue that could come up is that when you mix blue and red, you get purple. I'm gonna put the white in between. I did a little test pack and it worked and it didn't mix and make purple. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we can do this and not screw it up. I think I'm going to add Pearl Sparkle with the white, the titanium white just to see how that goes. We may have to end up scraping and starting over if this mixes too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you on while I flood the canvas. And I got silver stars that I glued magnets onto so that you can use them on top. I think they'll look really pretty. around and touch up my edges make sure that all the sides are completely covered and I do tap more than I swipe to make sure a good level of paint goes on there and it's not just like a small swipe of it it really does need to cover the edges so So I'm going to start with the red and let's do kind of similar to what I've been already doing. So I'm going to start from here, go up this way, to El Paso, across Dallas, Fort Worth.
Oh, I hope this works. And doesn't make purple. I've tried this before in other projects using a white base and doing um, red and blue on top of it and it just became a huge mess. But I'm hoping putting the white in between is enough when with the gold base it'll be really pretty. All right, let's blow this out and see what happens. looks really good and it is making some amazing cells kind of don't like this part right here so I'm gonna blow with my mouth on it that's better I think it looks really good. Let's put a little flame to it. Wow, I think that is gonna look really great when it dries. And I don't see any obvious purple. So I'm gonna take you off the tripod and do a close up because some of these cells are absolutely amazing. Okay, I've turned the lights down and I'm using the flash so you can see the sparkle in it too. Just look at some of these cells coming through. There's going to be some sparkle there with that pearl sparkle holbein. Okay, I will come back and show you it dry. Here is the dried Texas. I wanted to show you the little magnets that I made to go on it. I took these little stars and I linked them. They're off of Amazon in tiny little magnets, glued them to the back so that I could put them wherever what cities that I had been to or that I have family living in. I just thought they were really cute and a really great way to to do that for this particular piece. I'm going to take you off of the tripod and go ahead and do a close-up. I think it came out really cool. I'm so happy that the Blue and the red did not mix. And let me go ahead and pick these up. Do another. And they really do stick very, very well. The lacing um, on this just came out really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the alarm bell. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.